Oh, hi. You're up. I was just about to wake you up. How'd you sleep? Any trips to the underworld? So, I've made some breakfast here. Hope you like scrambled eggs. I think you should eat and then change into something more appropriate. We should get going if we want to crack this. Come on, let's go. Follow me. It's the Freeman's house. They're our closest neighbors. I think it's important we keep good rapport with them. They're the kind of people who like to gossip and love to snoop around other people's business. On top of that, they're terribly religious. It's better we visit them than have them constantly visit us. So just keep close attention of everything and learn as much as you can. Come on in, detective. I saw you guys coming from a mile away. I'm cooking at the moment, but it's good you brought the little one for a visit. I'm sure he'll get along with my boys just fine. You want anything? Coffee? Tea? Beer, maybe? No, ma'am, I'm good. Just wanted to say hi and bring the boy over for a quick visit. We have to be leaving soon anyway. Oh, that's too bad. Well, make yourself at home. I think Gary's at his office, working on something. Why don't you look around and I'll have a word with the missus. just try to kill you. I'm not scared. If he tries anything, I can use my rifle. If he kills me, I'll kick his butt. You think he would die if you shot him with a pellet? I don't know. He might. He looks pretty fragile to me.
You're full of crap. Probably the boys forgot it here. They should really learn to pick up after themselves. Well, hello. Who do we have here? I was just writing a letter here. Work thing, you know. How are you, son? You look... How can I say this? Hmm. Delicate? Yes. How are my boys treating you? If they get aggressive, just let me know. I'll take care of it. We're planning to add a pool to the house. I would love to see you swimming in it someday. Do you like swimming?
Let me know if you have any problems. Good morning, Detective. How can I help you? Hello, Mrs. Green. As you can see, I have this small guy here who's eager to continue his studies. I know he's used to being homeschooled, but unfortunately that's not really an option anymore. I'm sure we can fit him in. It's not like the town's filled with kids. We'll be just fine, won't we, Lucius? Yeah, one more thing. He doesn't really speak much. Heh. <laughs> well, we have enough noise as it is. Some silence would do us all good. Sure. Is it okay if he looks around a little bit? Of course. I'll be here all day. I was thinking if we could start next week. Get him a chance to relax, you know, familiarize himself with the new house and all. Yes, of course. We actually have a Halloween vacation this year. We thought the kids would enjoy some free time to get their costumes ready. Well, that fits perfectly then. Thanks, Amanda. I'll see you later. I think we should first determine your progress before choosing a path for you. Oh, hi there. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, I guess that's what I was thinking too. This could be the place we're looking for. Let's go and check it out. Looks like the mayor's going for your dad's old job. Well, Charles's old job. Well, it says he's going to be in Little Rock this evening. That's 30 miles away, and I hope we didn't miss him. Doesn't seem like there's anyone coming. Let's check out see if the mayor's even here. When we go in there, I want you to keep an eye out for clues, all right? We're looking for a guy who fits the description of the first horseman. Now this guy has to be the closest thing we have to a king around here. But I'm not sure how we're supposed to handle this whole bow and arrow thing.
Hello? Are we interrupting? Oh no, Dr. Green here was just leaving. Hello, Jack. Lucius. Yes. So, John, I'll be back later in the evening. Shall we say six o'clock? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. See you then. Come on in, Jack. It's nice to see you again. Well, well, to what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? Well, I was still going through the case of Charles Wagner. Maybe bringing the kid here and talking about the case isn't such a good idea, Detective. Yeah, how inconsiderate of me. How are you? Everything okay? I'm good. I'm just trying to get to the bottom of this. Yes, I know. We all do. Charles was a good friend of mine and will be sorely missed. I just can't wrap my head around him doing anything like this. With all due respect, sir, I think aiming for his jaw right after he died is something a friend would probably not do. Someone has to continue the work he was doing. It's important for all of us, and quite frankly, I think you are stepping out of line here, Detective. Maybe I am. I'm sorry if I've offended you. I'll be getting out of your way now, sir. Is it okay if I leave the kid here for a second? I have some errands to do, and I think you'd find the whole building quite interesting. You don't have to watch him or anything. He'll find his way back to my apartment on his own. You sure about that, detective? You can do that, right? Yeah, he's okay with it. Don't worry. Okay, fine. J just for a few minutes, then. Thank you, sir. Serves you right, cunt. Are you feeling all right, boy? Got that in the state finals, 65. I hunt with a bow, too. It's one of the most exhilarating things a man can do. You will learn that one day, son. We used to go hunting with your father back in the day. There's not a lot of things that give you that rush. A man is most at peace when he's one with nature, son. Oh, hello, son. What's the matter, son? What's this? Oh, shit. I need to call him. Hi, Lewis. It's John. Yeah, about the appointment we had today. Listen, I'm not going to be able to make it. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to avoid the full physical. It's just that I'm actually starting the campaign trail today. Yeah, I need to be in Little Rock by six, so I can't really be doing a physical with you, can I? Yeah. No, I won't be able to do it for a while. I'll be gone for the whole month. We'll have to reschedule when I get back. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll let you know when I get back. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks. I don't have to do that anymore. You're my own personal savior.
Are you feeling all right, boy? Hmm, that's strange. The reception's totally empty. Sir, are you there? Detective! Speak of the devil! And Lucius, how lovely. What are you doing here? Don't worry, I haven't revealed your little secret. And who would even believe me? I'm actually hoping you might end up changing your plans. Jack, come on in. Ta-ta! Lieutenant. Good morning, Detective. I see you're still dragging the kid along. You planning on keeping it? I think he should join the classes so he doesn't fall behind. And I also think it would be good for him to stay with me for a while. Don't take this the wrong way, but you do know that keeping him around is not going to bring your son back. I know, I know, but I got this under control. Don't worry about it. Anyway, what was this guy doing here? And why is the desk downstairs empty? Oh, Gabriel. We were just talking about you and your situation. He's handling the case, and we're just all looking out for the kid here. The desk is empty because Kathy left. Like most people, she was affected quite a bit by the Wagner case. She couldn't stay anymore because of the memories that kept surfacing. Anything else? No, I'm good. Then go and do your job. We still have a lot of loose ends here, and state troopers just notify that there's an APB on a girl that could be coming through here. I want you to check the motel for her. Her name is... Paula Lambert. Tall, blonde, attractive. Stole 40000 from her boss. I'll look into it. Come on, son. Of 
good. I'm starting to lose my mind. Time. What the? Move! Out of the way! I'm walking here. Watch it, kid. Where's the fire? A, f a fire? That's all I need. A fire at my secret project headquarters. Did he actually pay for those? I feel bad for him. I give him food from time to time so he doesn't starve to death. As a mother, I would hope others would do the same to my son if he ever ends up like him. Hope to God not. You're too good for this world, Nancy. What can I do for you guys, detective? Can you give me a pack of blue lights over there? Yeah, thanks. I'm just showing the kid around. I still have to work, of course, but we're just on a tour of the town here. Isn't he from here? Well, yeah, but you know how they were. I don't think the boy's ever been outside the mansion before. Oh, that's sad. Well, you're always welcome to visit us at the house, Lucius. I'm sure he's very grateful for your hospitality. My purse! You found my purse! Where did you find this? Thank God, now I don't have to get a new license. Here, let me give you a reward for finding... <laughs>